When we're talking about secret sprawl, what we're generally referring to is the unwanted distribution of secrets across multiple platforms. Now, a secret can be defined as anything we don't want someone else to have access to. But generally, in development terms, a secret is something that provides access to an external service. Now, this might be a database, a payment system, a messaging system, and they are generally things like API keys, security certificates, or credentials. Now, to understand how we use secrets, it's important to know how we build applications now versus the past. It used to be true that applications and software were self-sufficient. Nowadays, we're much more reliant on the internet. And this is good because it means that we can create something called microservices. And these microservices allow us to offload a lot of the tasks that aren't related to the core product or service that we're building. Now, these microservices like before are things like payment systems, database management, data management systems, really anything that can perform a really specific task. But there's a new challenge that comes now because we now need to identify ourselves with each and every single one of these microservices. And depending on the size of the application, there can be tens, hundreds of these services. And that means tens and hundreds of individual secrets that we need to keep track of and use to access these microservices. So now we know what a secret is, we can take a quick look at how secrets sprawl across the internet. Developers need access to secrets throughout their daily workflows. And the challenge becomes how to distribute and share these secrets among developers without creating a data breach. Secrets can easily accidentally end up in Git repositories. It can be cloned onto personal and professional machines. Secrets can end up being shared via email over messaging systems like Slack. They can even be saved in XL files and uploaded into Google Drive. So it's easy to see that with a large number of developers over time, secrets can really sprawl into all areas of your office systems. Now, you may think to yourself that all these systems are secure, therefore there's not too much of a risk. But the problem is, is that the more systems that secrets are spread across, it increases what we call the attackable area. Having a large attackable area really just means that you have your secrets spread across a large number of systems. This means that a nefarious actor or an attacker can access your secrets by penetrating multiple different services. Often, attackers can use these secrets to move laterally between systems and uncover even more sensitive or secretive information and data. So, how do you prevent secret sprawl? Well, unfortunately, no organization, big or small, is immune to secret sprawl. But there are tools and systems that you can put in place to reduce the risk. Tools like Git Secret, which encrypts secrets so that you can store them on Git repositories, can be used. Products like HashiCorp Vault can be used to provide greater access management so that you know who has access to your secrets and can revoke them easily. But it's really important to make sure you have visibility over all of your office systems. This is where GitGuardian can help. We have the world's most advanced secrets detection algorithm, and we can use this to scan your public and private repositories of both your organization and your developers. And we can also use our API to scan things like your Slack accounts or your emails. And this allows you to know when you do have secrets for all, and it allows you to gain visibility over what secrets have been compromised so that you can revoke them and move forward.